Thomas. Nice opinion, please, Barry. Yeah, Jim and, uh, and Reggie, I think it's a tremendous fight. It's, it's really in the balance. I think Brody's beginning to pull out ahead, and I think his body punches early on are going to take a toll on, on Swain's legs as the fight progresses. But he's got to be careful, as Jim pointed out, when he tires, those punches are staying further and further low of the border, and he's also banging his heads into. But, uh, you know, it's a risk with any body puncher and, and those shots. As the time, as the fight goes on, you become more tired and lethargic and your punches stray low. But what a great fight. It's very difficult to predict a winner at this stage. Great stuff. And Brody showed great courage and uh, tried to step up the gear in this round and came back. Great stuff. Look at the amount, the amount of punches here. Incredible, uh, uh, incredible success rate for Brody. He's picking his shots very well. So they, are, they, they, they might be blowing a bit, but they're ready to go again. This is new territory now for Michael Brody, coming out for the seventh round. This is the first time he's had to go this far. I don't think stamina's in any doubt at all. He's a great trainer, committed. As you can see, the way he goes firing away there, pummeling in the punches, Brody. See, Brody Reg is much more effective when he comes forward. It's when he allows Swain to back him up that he runs into some problems and he, he loses his defensive. But when he's coming forward with his chin down, he gets his punches off, he gets power into his body shots. So really, he has to concentrate now in trying to back Swain up. Swain's so experienced and so crafty. Swain's style of punching is difficult to uh, now, Jim, because he throws them at you from various angles. Long arm swings, aren't they? Well, just in sheer volume of punching, yeah. I scored the last round to Swain. I know he wastes a lot of punches, but Brody didn't come back with too many good shots in the previous round. So he has to get his, his control back into his boxing. Just exactly what he's doing now, get his body weight forward and get that chin yeah. down. The thing is, Jim, that you notice there, Swain's legs just stiffened up a little bit there when he took that shot. See, Swain has set such a pace here. I mean, full credit to Swain, the way he's going at this. He's given it everything he's got, all the tricks in the book. Just trying to keep Brody from get, from maintaining that rhythm that he has. Swain's Commonwealth Championship is on the line as well. I just wonder how Swain would have gone if he'd boxed a bit more in the early rounds and used his experience. He decided to draw Brody into a brawl, and now at this stage, he must be asking himself, have I done the right thing here? Is this little guy stronger than I am? Facial expression of Swain. Jim, you know, it's, it's a bit misleading. He, he tends to look as though he's, he's distressed a bit, didn't he, with Nalf Oakman turning his head away, but I, I doubt if that's happening. That's the way he fights anyway. Yeah, when he, when he took that good left hook in the previous round, he smiled as he took the punch. It wasn't so much a grimace, it was just to show Brody that he wasn't impressed. But Brody, once again, has his body weight forward. He's the one moving forward, and he's having a better round again. Although, just as I'm saying that, back comes Swain. I reckon this will be a cracking fight, Reg, but I really didn't dream it would be as exciting as this. You've been saving him up for me, Jimmy, with Hollyfield, Tyson, and McMillan and Ingle. See, he's still got so much fire in his belly as needs, Swain. See, this has happened a few times, just with the courage of Swain and the commitment. He's finished a couple of rounds better than Brody. But Brody's still winning the round because of, of the, the work in the first two and a half minutes or so, and that's happening again here. Good work from Brody, but right at the end of the round, so as he doesn't go back to his former confidence, Swain takes over. Yeah, he had, he had a good spell at the end of the round there, Swain, but uh, you're right, but maybe this fellow just won the, the first part of it. I'd, I'd love to know now how Roy Francis is scoring this. This is a tight one. Yeah, well, a lot of advice goes on in the corner there, but he responds to these things very well, Brody. That's that's the main thing. He tries to do as he's told all the time. I'm not suggesting that Swain doesn't, apart from some of his sort of wayward ways outside of the ring, which he would admit himself. Only one fight in 13 months. Let's have another look, Jim. See, this will probably be some of the good work Swain finished around with. See, that's the old man tricks again. I mean, I know he's not older uh, age-wise, much older, but the experience finished around well and then don't let the other fellow go back to his corner happy. 25 uh, against 22, Brody. Jim, there's the card there, only one round in. Second round, round eight. Round eight. Round eight.
Well, there's been some very hot fights and fierce fights this year, isn't there, already? As early on in the year as it, and, you know, the, the pattern's being set again, you know, this old argument of mine, well, they don't fight they used to in the old days. There weren't too many bad and weight fights better than this in the old days. Let's have it right. And it's amazing the way the fight is seesawing, Reg. I mean, Brody has a good round. Swain goes back to his corner, comes back out, and he decides to take over. It's each peach. It's really like a seesaw here. And then Swain, who on that card lost the last round, is coming back out, and look at the way he's picked it up. It's almost piston-like action there, isn't he? He pumps those in when he's standing up straight like that. Well, we're coming to the stage in the fight that should favour Swain with the experience. So it just depends how much Brody has left in the tank. It's all about conditioning the world, I mean, being locked up for several weeks is OK, but if he's not trained properly between the resting periods, then uh, who knows, whereas Brody's a very diligent uh, trainer all the time. See, another big drive from Swain. I don't think Brody has ever found Swain's southpaw stance a disadvantage in this fight because it hasn't been a long range trading jab for jab it's been a toe to toe just like a barroom brawl at times so facing a southpaw doesn't really make any difference in this kind of fight but once again just as you think swain has taken control brody digs in and comes back with it but really the only time brody is effective is when he gets moving forward when swain backs him up he's in trouble Again, yeah, Swain's picking up the pace. Yeah, yeah, he is. Brody must come forward if he wants to win this title. Swain knows that, and he's not allowing it to happen. He looks as though Swain wants to turn this fight around a bit. He thinks it's close. He wants to, you know, be the governor, as they say on the trade. You get back on top. See, a few signs of tiredness now in Brody's work. He's just not getting the punches off. That, that was a low blow, but there wasn't really much power, and I hope that Swain doesn't make too much of that. I mean, the, the punch did the stray low, but I don't think it was a powerful shot. Tremendous work rate in some of these rounds. I know all the rounds are a hectic pace, but I'm amazed at the pace of Swain in some of the rounds. Reg, it's amazing in the last few months, the wonderful British title fights we've had. Absolutely. I mean, you, you look to the, the world-level fighters to give you quality like this. I mean, some of the recent British title fights, wonderful. I mean, British boxing obviously thriving at the moment. Well, they, they deserve a rest of it. I think you and I do as well, do we? We gave 